YouTuber. Holographic, like your jacket and your hat is like almost holographic. Right. So she's a YouTuber known because of her nail and stuff. Cool. But she slowly became this like Canadian that just like influences a lot of like teenagers, like on a like worldwide scale. Okay. To the point where she just has like her whole hobby is just YouTubing, but she has a full time job for the Canadian government. Oh, but wow. she has a lot of things all about holographic, like what hollow, what's not hollow. <laughs> That's cool. Can you tell me into the camera what her name is again yeah, so that I can so look her up? So her name's Christine, but her YouTube channel is simply Nailogical, like it's simply Nails, logical. Nail, nail. Like I act like this is her her nail polish actually. Right. That, oh like, really? It like sold out within minutes, <laughs> and then I bought the pre-order after that. But she, yeah. That's cool. Like, yeah. But she uh, like gives like inspirational messages to kids while doing silly things like testing kids' toys that suck. That sounds really fun and yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very, Canadians. It's very Canadian. Uh, very Canadian. <laughs> so, can, can I ask you what brought you out here today? Yeah, yeah. So I'm part of the 350 New Hampshire organization. That's been one of the people that's doing part of this work. I'm from the New Hampshire area. I grew up in Epping. I live there now. I'm 25. And it's just seeing one by one more people getting a part of the movement and one by one having more people running for office, taking these pieces of being part of like the bigger picture of where we need this legislative turn. Yeah. And I'm really excited that this New Hampshire is for people to get ready for the upcoming election, especially for our governor's seat, because there's been so much pushback from Governor Sununu mm. to a point where it's like, who is he even representing if he's going to be the person that vetoes the most bills of any governor of New mm. Hampshire? Um, but then at the same time, we just saw that it was difficult for the House to even override these vetoes when they were able to get them to a desk. So, you know, it's a, it's a small catch-22 with our state house being so many members, but I think that there's a lot of pieces where it's, we're really mobilizing people to even show up, because part of it is these representatives might not even show up, and so that's how their numbers aren't counted. Um, so yeah, I think that a lot of state reps are getting that push that they need to be listening to their constituents. I know about four years ago when I was a UNH student, I wasn't, I was getting voicemails, and I wasn't even able to leave voicemails to my state reps, because it was their house phone line, and they right. had full. Wow. Like how, yeah, it's just like, how can you even contact that? So I'm really excited for our upcoming special election in Epping um, oh. for our state rep. So one of our state representatives, um, they stepped down. And so right now we just had our primary election. So we have our um, Republican and Democratic candidates. And now we have a special election on October 8th, which is going to be really vital in the state house. Because as you may know, one of our recent bills that did pass into law was our... Um, the death penalty and ending the death penalty in New Hampshire. So that was off of one state representative's vote. And our state representatives only, they represent like 3,500 people. So we have like the right. third largest English speaking governing body in the world. That's right. And it's, you know, it's it's wild how it's just, you know, you might be that 21st email to that state representative that helps them vote that one way on that one bill. Um, That's a really important issue to me. Is there, uh, have, have the candidates for both the Democrat and Republican side stated their position on the issue for the special election? For the special election, so it's really, it's really curious because Epping specifically is the location of the proposed um, LNG facility, like storage tank for LNG. liquid, liquid natural gas storage ah. facility. So it's still fracked gas there. It's just liquid natural gas. So when it goes from liquid into a gas, the, the liquid storage of itself would be in Epping, and the tank size would be larger than if you've ever been going towards Boston. There's the big rainbow tank. That's, I forget what energy company, but there's a big, big painted rainbow tank uh. um, when you're on your way into Boston, and this tank would be even larger than that, and it's in an old, already um, harvested, I guess you would say, quarry in Epping. Um, and so what they're doing is they're, the proposed line is along Route 101, so if they're only having to follow state laws. But Epic itself has a vote in the winter about whether or not they would allow this storage tank facility, and it's a really hot button issue, and some people think that might be why that state representative backed out, but people don't really know. Uh, um, wow. Yeah, so it's a lot, a lot of eyes are on that, a lot of eyes are on the Public Utility Commission, a lot of eyes are on the different um, environment related positions that the governor has able to appoint. like. Actually, the Republican candidate for this seat was previously nominated to be an environmental, I forget the full name, but he was an environmental nominee to the state. Okay. Um, 
and he's very anti anything climate change like he wants people to be able to do whatever they want he has very like standard republican values when it comes to not believing in climate change um and there was so much political pressure on him not being this nominee that he pulled his nomination so he was hmm. nominated by the governor and then there was so much public pressure saying no 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 no, this person does not believe in climate change they shouldn't have any environmental role in our state government um so he pulled that position and so now he's running again to be a state representative in Epping. Wow. So there's a lot of eyes on this very small town of about 6,000 people. Cool. Well, thanks for the wealth yeah. of information. <laughs> yeah. and thanks for keeping it local. I love yeah. to know what's going on in New Hampshire more yeah. than anything. Oh, yeah, It course. matters home, you know, yeah. where, it, where it matters most for me. So yeah, awesome. thanks a lot. Yeah, cool. So who are you working with? I'm Derek J. Freeman, and uh, I just have a YouTube channel. Awesome. I'm not with any cool. special yeah, yeah, group. Um, I just will post these videos raw. Awesome. So that people, who, if they missed it, they can attend the event. Awesome. You know? Yeah, See a, that. a glimpse of what they would have seen if they were here. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Thanks. thanks Good thanks to meet you. That. Yeah. yeah.